Hello, this tutorial will cover the mobile and web access feature of Fund Manager. This optional feature offers a read-only view of your investments from any web browser or an Android app and is available in all versions of Fund Manager. The advisor version does offer some additional features we'll cover towards the end of this tutorial. To get started, open up your portfolio and go under the Options menu and select Mobile Web Access and then you'll see all the commands related to this feature. Uh, we'll start off by going to Account Settings. Here you can define a uh, username and password that you're going to use to access your data through these other interfaces. You can also choose which sub-portfolio to upload. You can upload any sub-portfolio you have, um, or you can upload your topmost sub-portfolio, which typically you'll probably want to do just so that all your data is available through those other interfaces. Um, for this tutorial, we'll go ahead and upload the topmost master portfolio. Just say OK to create your account. And once your account's created, it asks you if you want to upload the data for your account and we'll go ahead and say yes to that and you can see it did quickly upload our data. You can also have Fund Manager automatically upload your data for you. To do that, go back to the mobile web access menu command and select preferences. Here you can see the options related to automatically uploading your data. You can have it automatically upload on program exit or every uh, so often. Here we have it set to go every two hours. Um, you can also adjust the times of day that it will upload and other related commands. There's also some display options here. These display options affect how your data is displayed when viewed through the mobile and web interfaces. These do not affect how data is displayed in Fund Manager itself. You can control whether cents are displayed in values and whether hidden items are displayed. In addition, your regular global display preferences are also used for formatting other things such as dates, prices, and share balances. Um, so you have control over that. We'll go ahead and say OK to this. To manually initiate an upload of your data, uh, go back again to the mobile web access command and you would choose upload data or you can choose uh, press control and the F2 key on your keyboard from within any window in Fund Manager. So we'll go ahead and upload our data by pressing Upload Data. And you can see that it quickly uploaded our data. Once your data has been uploaded, you can view it through these other interfaces. We'll go ahead and take a look at the web interface, which is called the Client Portal. To access the Client Portal, open up a web browser. So we'll switch over to a web browser here. And go to the Fund Manager homepage, which is this URL here, fundmanagersoftware.com. In the bottom right corner, you'll see a link to Client Portal. Uh, you can bookmark this, or you can just go to the regular Fund Manager page and go through the Client Portal. Click on this link, and that opens up the interface uh, to your data. Uh, you'll log in with the username and password that we created <coughs> in Fund Manager under the Account Settings dialog. Once you log in, all the data that was uploaded is available for you to view. Um, in this web interface, uh, you can click on this little arrow here to see what the four sub-portfolios are beneath master portfolio. Um, you can dive down as much as you want, or you can uh, zoom to a particular account. If you do zoom to a particular account, you'll see your sub-portfolio hierarchy displayed in the navigation bar up here. You can also sort your data by any of these items, name, value, change, or percent change. So, for example, if you wanted to see your biggest winners or losers, just pick percent change. And you can see your biggest winner was listed at the top. In addition to this web interface, uh, there's also the mobile interface. Um, you do need uh, an Android-based device, but if you go to the Play Store, uh, Google Play Store, you can download the free Fund Manager app. And once you install that on your Android app, you would log in with the same username or password that we created in the Account Settings dialog box. And it works similar to the web interface where you can dive into any of your sub-portfolios and uh, view all your holdings through your mobile device. 
This pretty much covers the basics of, of using this feature in the personal and professional versions. In the advisor version, you can create an account for each one of your clients so that each client has their own login and sees their own data. So we'll switch over and take a quick look at that. Here's Fund Manager Advisor with uh, several clients loaded. Uh, to create an account for a client, go to the Edit menu and go to Client List and edit the properties of a particular client. And you'll see in the lower right corner of the Client Information dialog box this section of, for mobile and web access. Uh, click on Account Settings and you can create a username and password. Obviously, you'd want to create a unique username and password for each, each one of your clients. Um, and once you've done that for each one of your clients, you can upload all this data. Uh, uploading your data in the advisor version is a little bit different. Um, you have this global account um, as well as um, the account for each one of your clients. And when you do an upload, um, you go to the same menu command, but this time when you do an upload, you'll be given the choice whether to upload all your accounts or you can just update a particular account. So for example, if you made changes to a specific client and you only wanted to update that client, you could do that here. For this tutorial, we'll go ahead and just say upload, update all of the accounts. So it successfully uploaded all of our accounts. And now all those data are available for each client through the mobile and web interfaces. For more details about any of these features, um, you can go to the online help. If you just go to options, mobile web access, and click on account settings, if you click on this help menu here, that'll open up the online help and you can read, um, read more about it. One thing I did not mention is that when you do the automated updates for in the advisor version, um, you can control what accounts get automatically uploaded by going back to the preferences dialog box and click change here. And this is the same dialog box that we saw uh, for the manual upload, but this allows you to control what happens for your automatic uploads in the advisor version. Okay, thank you for watching.